Night RXP, Matt Pinfield in the morning, joined by my friend Scott Weiland here. Always good to see you, Scott. Always good to see you, too. You know, uh, and that was a really cool version of fame. And uh, again, I've always thought that you had such a great, your presence on stage and performing, you know, you and Bo, you're two, two of the greats when it comes to that. I mean, just the way that you move chameleon-like, and the things you've done, so... You know, it's just great to hear you paying homage to one of your favorite artists again there. Well, just to be mentioned in the same sentence is quite uh, an honor. Yeah, you know, so tell me about another track on record, Paralysis. This is a cool song. Um, this is this song uh, I co-wrote with uh, the, the boys from No Doubt. Yeah, um, Tony and Adrian and the guys, right? Exactly. They've been in the studio writing for quite some time and waiting for Gwen to... Uh, show up and <clears throat> I called uh, Adrian I've known him for um, a long time uh, uh, you know through Nina who used to work for STP and uh, and said do you have any songs that would lend themselves uh, to um, my record and uh, he said uh, I think I think so you know I th especially this one um, and uh, I fell in love with the song immediately. Just uh, the just the raw instrumental track, and it was just a demo. And um, so we went up uh, to Steve Albini's place. We went there twice um, and uh, recorded it. And I, uh, it's one of my favorite songs on the record. How was it working with Steve? Did you enjoy it was very him? cool. Um, he refuses to call himself a producer. I know. I, I was talking about on here the other day, joking around because we played a local act, and it said recorded by. Yeah, you know, he still has that stipulation. I'm not yeah. a producer. I just record. Yeah, an engineer <laughs> and recorded by. Yeah, so he says. Yeah. Does he does he make that clear? Like when you're in the studio. Clear. Yeah. He's like, you can't make sure you don't put my name as a producer. Yeah, he says you could say engineer. I'm a, yeah, you know, or recorded by, but uh, I'm not a producer. That's amazing. Yeah. That's 19 RXP. It's Matt Pinfield in the morning. I'm sitting here with Scott Weiland. New album, Happy and Galoshes, in stores November 25th. And uh, he's going to be playing Irving Plaza on the 5th of December as well. I think it's cool that you decided to make a double record. And starting your own label, was it exciting to like not have anybody t telling you how to market your record to do this thing on your own, Scott? Um, well, yes, uh, there's a lot of freedom. Uh, although there are some very smart people that... Uh, work for us and work with us, uh, you know. The Red, guys at Red are amazing, yeah. like Danny Bush and the crew. I mean, I, yeah. I'm big fans of the Red guys. Yeah. And, and you know, Danny worked with you through the STP years. Yes, that's true. <laughs> and uh, we're also partners uh, um, with uh, New West. Um, they uh, are... Um, it's a good label, too. Yeah. So It's a caring label. They care about their artists. I'm not saying that any of their other labels are bad, either. I don't mean that by but any we, means. But we get to create... <clears throat> excuse me. We get, to, edit, we get don't to worry. create our own... Uh, you know, I, you know, our own ideas, and uh, and we come up with some very creative marketing ideas, yeah, and uh, um, strategies that uh, I think the major labels don't think of because they're still kind of trapped in the dinosaur way of thinking. So this is a great freedom for you, which is really cool. I think it's great. Now, uh, one last question for you, Scott. On this new album you did Reel Around the Fountain, a great Smith song. It was the first song on their first album. Um, and the lyrics of My favorite right? album of theirs, Half Full of Home. Yeah, and it's been on that as well. There's yeah. a version done on there. Um, I just, uh, I was I was really surprised to see that you did it. I was happy though, too. Tell me about your, your deciding to do this track. I mean, what does this song mean to you, and, and why did you pick this one? Uh, um, well, let's say it, it, it's a song of desperation really it's a it's a um in the, it's one of the songs that the beauty of music really is uh it, the emotion it's you know universal language like it really is um uh, there are some songs where uh, i've uh, heard them a hundred times and i don't know all of the lyrics and you know this was one of those songs um uh, but um, it's the feeling of the song. It's the melody. Uh, uh, it's the arrangement of the music. Um, and uh, it's one of those songs that always made the hair stand up on my arms. When I yeah. Heard it. There were so many great Smith songs that I like that, yeah. you know. And uh, 
just uh, it was cool to see that you covered this one in particular. And when people see you at Urban Plaza, who's going to be playing with you live on stage, Scott? Um, well, obviously Doug and um, uh, a group of guys uh, that uh, are really amazing. Uh, it's, not, it's not a group of stars. It's just a group of friends that are uh, very solid, really great musicians. And it's going to be a fun time. Well, we're yeah. looking forward to it. Yeah. Are you going to pull some stuff off your first solo record as well? Yes, definitely. We're glad to hear that. Well, Scott, listen, thanks for coming to the station this morning. Hey, thank you. Really good to have you, and good to see you as always, man. Good to see you. You got it. Scott Weiland, 1019 RXP. Don't